This video is going to teach you how to take scientific notation and change it into standard form. Now let's go over the definitions of scientific notation. Well the technical definition is that notation uses an exponential number where 10 is the base and n is the exponent. Now the definition that you can understand is that scientific notation is a way to write really big numbers and really small numbers. So that's what scientific notation is used for. Now, notice that in scientific notation it has two parts. The first part it has a number between 1 and 10 and it must be a decimal number. So if we're looking down here, our decimal number is here in the beginning and it is a number 1 through 10 and then it also has to have an exponent number here, 10 to some power. So that's what scientific notation has to be like. It has to have a decimal number here in the beginning that's one to numbers 1 through 10 and it has to have this 10 to the power number. Now let's figure out which of these are in scientific notation. Now the first one says 3 times 10 to the second. Now 3 actually has a decimal point right here if it's a whole number and a zero. So this could be in scientific notation even though it's not a decimal number, it can be a decimal number. So this is in scientific notation. 7.9, well it's missing something, it's missing times 10 to the something. So this is not in scientific notation. 8.1 times 10 to the negative 4, it has a decimal number and it has a 10 raised to a power, so yes it is in scientific notation. 12 times 10 to the third, well this is not in number 1 through 10, it's over 10, so this is not in scientific notation. 0.973 times 10, it does have a decimal number, and I forgot to mention that the decimal number has to be a number point something. It cannot be 0.973, it has to have a number here um, in front of it because it's one, numbers one through ten, nine, 0.973 is less than one. So this is not in scientific notation. Now, when you have scientific notation, you have to move the decimal points. Now, in scientific notation, if it is a negative exponent, you will be moving your decimal point in the negative direction, which is to the left. If it's a positive exponent, you're going to be moving your decimal to the right because that's the positive direction. So 3.009 times 10 to the negative 6 means you're going to be moving the decimal point to the left six spaces. So if we start here, we're going to move it back six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six has to be all the way over here. Now I made it simpler here by putting my line. So for starting here, we're going to move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that all of these places have to have zeros. So 3.009 times 10 to the negative 6 actually equals 0.00000. Zero, three, zero, zero, nine. Now if we have 3.009 times 10 to the positive 6, that means we're going to be moving it 6 spaces to the right. So we're going to start here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all of these have to be zeros. So that ends up being 3,009,000. Now, you can check scientific notation on your calculator by putting 3.009 times 10 caret negative 6 equals. And if you hit that, then you will get 0 .000000. 0 you will get that number on your calculator. 
Now I want you to go ahead and try to change these into scientific notation. Remember, you do not need to use your calculator, but you can. Remember, if you're moving to a, po a positive exponent, you're moving this way. If it's a negative exponent, you're moving your decimal that way. So go ahead and press pause and try to figure out what these would be in standard form, and then come back and check your answer. Now that you're back, let's check our answer. Well, this means that the decimal point must move two spaces to the right. So that means 1, 2. So that equals 340. Negative 3 means that the decimal point must move three spaces to the left. So if it starts here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3. So that means this number equals 0 0.004863. 1 times 10 to the 11th means that we're starting with 1 and we're going to be moving our decimal 11 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that number becomes this number. Six point nine two times ten to the eighth means we're going to be moving our decimal to the right eight spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it becomes six hundred and ninety two million. Seven point four times ten to the negative one means we're moving it back this way, so it becomes point seven four. Eight point 4 to 5 times 10 to the negative 7 means we're going to be moving 7 spaces that way. So that means it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's write it over here. That's what that number would end up being. Hopefully that's helped you understand how to write um, scientific notation in standard form. If you still have any questions, please contact your teacher.